I'll just expand the display here for now. And now I'd like to show you something. We have our direct to timeline clip here, and it is also present in the BIM window. I have selected this. I'll move the window up and make it a little smaller. Now I can click this clip with the right mouse button to open the context menu. And in this menu, I find the delete file function. I'll click it and I'm asked to confirm that I wish to delete the file. This will erase it from the hard disk. I'll confirm with yes. And now I move the window back and I can see that the clip is shaded out. This is Edius telling me that the required raw material for the clip is no longer available. I can move over it and I just get the checkered display showing me that something is wrong. Of course we know that the reason for this is that the clip is no longer there. Edius also gives me a warning message at this point. I have what is now known as an offline clip, or in other words, a clip that cannot be found. I'll double click on it and then a Restore and Transfer Clips window opens. And I can use this as Edius knows it came from an HDV tape called Polar, again showing the importance of naming items properly. And that the clip was located at 022902 until 024519. And now I can rely on Edius to restore this clip via the Capture All option. I'll confirm with OK. And the Batch Capture window opens, in which this missing clip is specified. And if I click on Capture, then the clip will be restored by means of re-importing it from the original tape. It is obviously very important that the correct tape is loaded as obviously this is one of the things Edius cannot test. If the wrong tape was loaded, then Edius would record the location from this tape. So, the tape is loaded. I'll click OK, and I'll stop recording for a second as this takes a while. It locates to the correct tape position and re-records the missing material. After I have finished using the batch capture function and the batch capture window is closed, I can see that the clip is loaded and once again in the timeline. So a very useful function to reload material that has been lost, for example, when a hard drive has crashed. Obviously though, one has to have the original material available.